This is my unbreakable story. About three years ago, uh, at the beginning of the 2016, there I was living in Sydney, Australia, in a one bedroom apartment, looking for love still, hurting because for some reason I just couldn't find the one. It was painful, made me feel like I wasn't enough. I was using cocaine a lot. I was even selling it. I was drinking a lot. I had two jobs. I was working as a driving examiner and a chauffeur driver transporting airline pilots. So I was hustling, but man, I was using cocaine a lot. And I thought to myself, why am I doing that? I would question myself, but the power of the drug and my friends who would do it with me and the social life that we would have felt so good that it was overpowering me. But it was at that point where I was living a lie, but I was trying to live the best of both worlds. I was trying to hustle, make the money, but at the same time I was using the money on drugs. But the drugs were making me escape my reality of who I was. So I was, see, the thing is, I wasn't happy with me. I wasn't happy with the way that I looked. I always judged myself. I always had this perception of what other people think of me. Because when I was growing up, I used to be really skinny. I used to get bullied and called names. Lanky, skinny, horse legs. I'd get hit over the head by friends who were not really friends, were they, if they were doing that. But having that kind of mindset or ideology pushed on me because I was different made me believe for such a long time that I was different to everybody, that I wasn't good enough. And I lost, I mean, maybe I never had it, but I didn't have self-esteem. I didn't have, I was low on self-confidence. I never believed that I could be more than a government employee. I never believed that I could make something out of myself. And so there I was living in that apartment, doing drugs, alcohol. I'd work 15 hour days and then I'd come home and I'd convince myself in my mind. I'd say, you had a hard day, Luke. You deserve to have some cocaine. I knew it was wrong. I could feel and hear my soul screaming at me saying, Luke, stop. You're hurting me. This is not you. You're better than this. And so on one day in February 2018, my grandmother from Europe, Poland, passed away. And that hit me like a ton of bricks. Boom. And I went to the funeral, I spoke, and I came home. And at that point, something magical happened. It's like I had this vision of killing myself, not physically, but like my old self. And so I was like, Ch -ch -ch, boom, goodbye old version of Luke. And then I stopped using Coke, and I stopped using alcohol, and I started to create the next version of myself. And I never believed that I'd be doing what I'm doing now as an inspirational speaker, as a positive therapist, as someone who inspires, motivates, empowers, who uses social media, who's not afraid to get on camera, who's not afraid to stand up and speak, who's not afraid to invest in myself so that I can be the best version of myself, who's not afraid to say, you know what, this is my journey. Just because you're married and you got kids and you've got investments doesn't mean that's my journey. Just because... You went to university and I did it doesn't make me less of a person. And so when I grew up, I, I would compare myself so much to everybody around me. But now I took a stand. I decided that I am unbreakable. I decided that I am the author of my autobiography. I am the director of my movie, which is a blockbuster. And so my mission in life is to become whole, 
is to become the best version of myself. And that will allow the rest of the world to then use me as a role model and as, a, as an example to then know that, that it's possible and that, that you can believe in yourself and understand that your journey in your life is available to you if you choose to follow the right path and listen to your soul. Thanks for having me on. I hope you're all amazing. You can find me at lukemindpower.com and Luke Mind Power on all social media platforms. Remember, follow your soul because it knows the way and just love yourself more because love is the key and love will set you free. Peace.